Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the lower armature bearing on a Porter Cable 690 router. Your router's lower armature bearing receives a lot of abuse. Not only does it have to withstand the 10,000 plus RPMs that your router spins at, but it also receives a fair amount of side load as you push the router against the wood. Warning signs that you have an armature bearing going bad on your router would be unusual noises coming from the router, such as a ticking sound or a squeal coming from the bearing. If the router base becomes extremely hot, that can also be a sign that the bearing is going bad. You can rotate the spindle by hand. If it doesn't rotate freely or if there's a lot of resistance when you attempt to rotate the spindle, that would also indicate that the bearing is going bad. Replacing the armature bearing is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Armature bearings, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the router motor from the router's base. And now I'll go ahead and remove the two screws that secure the cap to the motor. Now I'll remove the brushes so that they don't get hung up on the bearing as we remove the top half of the motor housing. Now I'll make a reference mark between the upper and lower motor housings. This will just make it easier to line everything up when we go to put it back together. Now I can remove the two screws that secure the upper half of the motor housing to the lower half. And a few taps with a rubber mallet will help me to separate these two pieces. Next, we need to remove what's called the chuck from the armature shaft. If you haven't already, you'll want to remove the collet from the chuck. Then I'll grab the exposed portion of the armature with a rag, just to protect my hands. And I'll use an impact wrench with an inch and an eighth socket to remove the chuck. Now I need to remove the armature from the bearing within the lower motor housing. The best way to do this is to use a bearing press if you have one. If you don't, you can use a rubber mallet. Make sure you use a rubber mallet and not a metal hammer, as striking the end of the armature with a metal hammer will damage these threads. The bearing is held in the motor housing with a retaining ring. I'll use a pair of retaining ring pliers to remove it. I've selected a socket that has the same diameter as the inner race on the bearing. I'll place the socket on top of that inner race and then use my mallet to tap the bearing out of the motor housing. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll slide it into the motor housing and then use a socket the same diameter as the outer race or just slightly smaller and I'll tap it in with a mallet. And now I'll reinstall the retaining ring. Now I can install the armature back into the lower motor housing. I'll line up the shaft with the lower bearing and again use a rubber mallet to tap it back into place. Now I'll reinstall the chuck. I'll thread it onto the spindle and again I'm holding the armature with a rag and I'll secure it with the impact.
Now I can reinstall the lower half of the motor housing to the upper half. I'll insert the armature through the field, make sure that it lines up properly with the top half of the housing, and line up our reference marks that we made earlier. Just like that. And I'll secure the upper and lower halves of the motor housing with the screws. Now I can reinstall the cover. I just want to make sure I have all the wires tucked in and make sure that nothing's going to get pinched, especially in this area, when I put the cover back on. Now I can reinstall the brushes. The brush just slides into the brush holder. Then I line up these tabs on the end of the brush wire with the slots in the brush holder. Hold that in place and slide one of the caps on. This part can be a little tricky. It might take a couple of tries to get all that lined up. Then I'll secure the brush with a screwdriver. You want to be careful not to over tighten these or you will crack them. And I do that same thing on the other side. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the base. Now you know how to replace the lower armature bearing in a Porter Cable 690 series router. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. <laughs>